Salutations, my friends, and thank you for tuning in to another one of the mini casts that we have started to do. I have titled this one Animal Human Hybrids and Chimeras, simply because we're going to be looking at things like that. This is a theme that we have on the show. We constantly see how these people are trying to genetically modify humanity, how they're trying to, to, to change us into some kind of monster. Well, now we actually see them trying to make these monsters. This is something that we've actually touched on throughout the entirety of the show. Uh, we did a, a, a episode back in January where we touched on that and so much more. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. So as I said, we're going to be going over things such as crossing species, chimeras, and things of this nature. What happens whenever we start messing around with things that we shouldn't be? Because who really listens to science? Who really listens to what's going on? Who heeds warnings? You see, as I said before, we did a crisis corner uh, uh, over this topic, you know, genetic modification of the human body and things of this nature. But one of the reasons as to why I wanted to do this episode is because... We have now begun to hear how human brains, human mini brains, organoids are growing inside rat bodies and how they've begun to integrate and how, like I said before, these tiny human brains are being implanted in rats. This made news. OK, and this is going around the Web because this is very this is this is pretty massive. If you ask me what we're basically basically talking about is giving consciousness or what we would consider human consciousness to an actual animal and that's exactly what these people are trying to do I know it sounds crazy but that's probably why I'm not working in Washington DC or working at the Salk Institute or working with these types of people you see because this stuff is not normal okay like and like I said before uh, we've touched on this uh, throughout the entirety of the show uh, you guys can go back and look at some of the other videos that we've done you know I, I talk on this stuff all the time uh, chimeric creatures and children that's another one of our episodes that we've done and basically what they're doing in this instance is they're making animal human hybrids we clearly hear how they're making human animal hybrids uh you know uh, uh, uh splicing genetics you know giving them the strength of an ox you know the speed of a cheetah uh you know a wild man so to speak but now they're actually giving like i said before human sentience human consciousness to a brain could you to to, to a rat could you imagine that and if you think this is wild, I'm sure they've already done it to other creatures. I'm sure they've already done this before, but they are disclosing that these types of things are happening. So let's get in this article. I put up November 7th. It's from Mysterious Universe. It says, any headline containing the words tiny human brains, quote, implanted and, quote, rats, can't be good news, even if the implanting is being done by some of the world's most famous and reputable labs in the world. Yet, that's what's going on. That's, what's, that's what we're going to be discussing and probably argued about in breakout bathrooms and bars when 21 papers on tiny human brains or organoids are presented at the upcoming annual meeting of the Society for Neuroscience taking place in Washington, D.C., November 11th through the 15th. So here soon. Uh, the news comes from the journal Stat, which gives a detailed instruction to the scientific and medical innovations and ethical dilemmas that preceded these studies. Human brain organoids are blobs of human brain tissue grown from stem cells. They're tiny and allegedly non-thinking, but they react like human brains and have, used, have been used for drug testing and studies on the brain diseases. And I'm going to pause right there uh, because this is something that we actually talked about before in one of our other uh, mini-casts. I'm not really sure. I don't remember which one it was. Uh, but we talked about them basically growing these types of brains and then uh, it, uh, giving them drugs, creating a, 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 creating a person, creating an identity, you know, and this is something that we look at on the show as well, uh, how these people, you know, conduct mind control, MK MKUltra, uh, Project Montauk, they're trying to figure, Project Real Flame, all of these things, they're trying to figure out the human nature, you see. Uh, so yes, you know, they're producing brains, and brains are highly more complex than we could ever conceive, or ever, ever really believe, but that's what these guys are doing, you see. So when we start talking about this, when we start looking at them giving sentience uh, to at, to a rat well does that become a person does that become a mutant i know they're just trying they are really just trying to study the effects on it you know what happens if we give a human brain to a rat it seems simple but with today's technology there's a lot more that they can do than just that and i guarantee you this is going on in other places this is this is not something simple so the concept of them putting these tiny human brains on drugs and 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 
uh, inducing them to think a certain way and then uh, sending sending certain stimuli they're training them i mean what do you, they're training them there, there's so much more but let me let me let, let, let's finish up this article uh, let's finish up this article right here <laughs> the intro uh, the ethics of implanting them in non-human vertebrates will certainly be discussed since there is no current currently no ban on it, but plenty of controversy. Yeah, there's a lot of controversy surrounding it. Uh, Stat looked at two of the more interesting and controversial studies. One was conducted by Fred Rusty Gage, a top neurobiologist at the famous Salk Institute. Gage led a team that performed what is believed to be the very first reported vascularization which is connecting the human brain organoid to a rat's circulatory system. And if that weren't enough, they were able to see neurons from the human brain organoid send signals that were received and processed by the host's, host rat's brain. Paging Dr. Frankenstein, uh, stat quotes, legal scholars and bioethicists, Hank Greeley of the Stanford University says, quote, these advances are raising the question of whether you are creating something human-ish that you have to take seriously in terms of according it uh, with dignity and respect and figuring out what that even means. Human-ish? Is that a medical or a legal term? And that's what we're talking about. We are literally talking about how these people are creating their own type of species. You see, and I'll put this link in the description bar below so you guys can look at uh, uh, our video, Crossing Species and Khmer, where we talk about things like this, human-animal chimeras. But these days, we're talking about how human mini-brains are growing inside of rats, and they are integrating. That's what's happening. They are creating, they, they're doing it for science, they say. They're doing it because they can. These people are very sick. I mean, just the other, just the other month, we talked about uh, how these people are literally creating... Uh, 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 they're creating in, in, in the mini cast uh, designer babies and embryo editing they're literally creating uh, 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 embryos they say to destroy them in China to, 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 to modify them they see a lot of this they see existence as one big sandbox that they can start messing with whenever they start doing these types of things we really gotta ask ourselves what is the purpose of humanity is it only to be one of these guys petri dish experiments or are we really living these people are messing with things that they don't understand and this is something that i commonly harp on uh... with 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 the genetic modification uh, with the chemtrails and everything else that is going on these are epigenetic diseases that we don't know what we're that that, that are being created that we don't know how to handle you see Epigenetics for people that are tuning in, it, it, we ourselves, you know, we know McDonald's is bad. We know that all this stuff that they're putting in the food, in the water, in the air, in the environment, and all these other things, like the environmental toxins, we know they're very bad. I've covered this in my Terraforming Earth series. We know what that does, but it might not affect us as deeply as it will the coming generations. You see, this is why we have to look at vaccines so critically and take them very, very seriously. I mean, just the other day, and this is, I'm, I'm derailing a little bit, just the other day, and I'll be putting up another post to confirm, to, to confirm this uh, again, but they were saying, the University of Pennsylvania was saying how that these, these the, the, fact, uh, the, the vaccines, the flu vaccine, it's a huge hoax. They conducted a study. They said that the flu vaccine is a great hoax. So what are they purposely like, uh, you know, what are they purposely um, um, dehumanizing us? What are they purposely giving us these types of drugs for? Why are they purposely experimenting on us? These are the technocrats. These are the social engineers. These are the people behind the veil that are telling us, not even telling us, they're, they're openly experimenting on us. You see... So when we start talking about how human brains are growing inside of rats, that's crazy. They're creating a whole separate class of what we would consider humanity. Do these things have rights? Do, we, do they deserve dignity and respect? What happens whenever one of them breaks free? It's 2017. A lot of people do a lot of body modification. It might fit very well in society. Who knows? Pray to God that it, you know, it, it, it might not, because these things are very serious. I know it sounds silly, but let, let me, let, let's get into this article, and I'll only get into a little bit of it so you guys can go read it on our website. But it says, stem cell technology has advanced so much that scientists can grow miniature versions of human brains, called organoids or mini-brains, if you want to be cute about it, in the lab, and medical ethicists are concerned about recent developments in this field involving the growth of these tiny brains in other animals. 
Those concerns are bound to become very serious after the annual meeting of Society for Neuroscience, as we said before, starting November 11th in Washington, D.C., where two teams of scientists plan to present previously unpublished research on the ex unexpected interaction between human mini-brains and their rat and mouse hosts. In the newspaper, according to Stapp, uh, scientists will report the or that the organoids survived for extended periods of time, two months in one case. So imagine that. Imagine that, and this is this is the crazy part of it. They literally have to create the mini brains and then transplant it into the actual rat itself. So imagine that a consciousness, a being being without a body, being without limbs, with being without uh, a, a awareness of your surroundings, but still being able to adapt. And then, whoever know who who knows how long these brains were were were, were grown prior to. Uh, than being transplanted in but imagine that for two months you were given sentience two months you were given aware you were given awareness of your surroundings you were able to move you were hungry you could you could think you could act you could do different things but on top of that you had other people telling you to do different things this is a horrible existence but that's what these scientists are doing what kind of world is this what kind of creature is this and i can get like i said before i can guarantee that these things have taken place beforehand they're just disclosing that they're doing it now you see so let's let's get back into this article it says in two months case that's what happened right and even connected to lab animal circulatory and nervous systems transferring blood and nerve signals between the host animal and the implanted human cells this is an unprecedented ad advancement for the mini brain research quote we are entering totally new grounds here uh, says Christoph Koch, president of the Allen Institute for Brain S Science in Seattle. He told this to Stat, uh, quote, the science is advancing so rapidly that the ethics, the ethics can't keep up. That many brains can even grow in the lab is a huge advancement in the first place, as they have uh, many of the same characteristics as living human brains that are in the early stages of development. Though they are not, quote, alive in the same sense that you and I are, they grow and are organized in very different layers like our brains are. They even react in similar ways to stimuli like psychedelic drugs. As, we, as I said before, creating a consciousness, saying, you know what, okay, well, it might not have awareness, it might not uh, uh, know how to interact with us, so let's give it drugs. Let's give it drugs and alter its, its, its brainwave, alter its capacity, alter how it's interacting. You see, and then you've got to ask yourself, are they giving it LSD, these man-made drugs, and are they giving it uh, mushrooms with things like psilocybin? There's a lot of different things going on here, but these people are willing to push the boundaries. Like they said, the ethics can't keep up. Continuing on, it says organoids are poised to revolutionize research on the human brain since scientists can't perform tests on them. That would be unethical to attempt on living humans. Yeah, we would probably be pretty pissed. Uh, scientists have debated whether these brains are conscious but the fact that they could be successfully implanted in lab animals raises a whole new set of ethical concerns for the researchers who work on them. One of the major concerns is the mini brain scenario is that these organoids could grow to a more advanced level within lab animals, making the debate about mini brain consciousness much more urgent. And you guys can re I'll put the link in this so you can continue to read it because it's a great a great article, very well written. And this stuff is important. It's from Inverse uh, for people who are curious. Definitely go check out some of their work. This stuff is serious. We've already talked about human pig chimeras. We've already talked about pig goat chimeras. We know that there's uh, spider pig or spider goat uh, chimeras. We constantly talk about how they're transplanting uh, a, a, a pig uh, human organs into pigs to grow them. This is where we're going. But on top of this, you got to think, well, what happens whenever we start to eat some of this food? Like I, like I commonly say, what is McDonald's? We don't even know. Half of that stuff is slime. We don't even know. It's like grade D meat, if grade F. You know, gr grade Z meat, if you could even call it that. It's not real. These are, the, these are weird days that we're living in. This goes beyond transhumanism, you see. It, well, it's, it, it, but it's still in the same category. They are trying to extend what could be consciousness, diversify it. If humanity is able to, and just contemplate this for a second, if humanity is able to pick up on one another's vibes, we're able to feel one another, we're able to interact and things of this nature. You see, sometimes people can finish other people's words and sentences. Uh, sometimes, you know, everybody's just kind of on the same wavelength. What kind of wavelength would this thing be on? Again, like I said, with the psychedelic drugs, what kind of wavelength are they putting this thing on? creating monsters what kind of life is this 
These are the chimeras. Who knows if it'll be able to even procreate. We laugh at the idea of a, of a, chupa, a chupacabra, right? Well, we laugh at the idea of a minotaur. We laugh at the idea of a centaur. We laugh at all of these things that come from our history. Was this history repeating itself? Why would they be doing this thing? If there's, like they said, the ethics, they can't keep up. This is uncharted territory. Until, they, until they're literally told not to do this, they're going to keep it up. This is how this works. These people are testing society. They're trying to push the boundaries of what we consider humanity. They're trying to uh, 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 complicate as many different things as possible. You see right there, scientists successfully create the first human-pig hybrid in a lab, we put that up uh, October 30th, and that's definitely something I'll put in the description bar below so you guys can go check it out. But this is what's going on. These are the types of things that we've got to talk about because these people are, are, are modifying humanity, modifying the animal kingdom, and expecting us to sit there and take it. Organoids conducting these experiments, asking what is consciousness, what is sentience, putting all these things together, acting as if they're a hive network bringing a whole new meaning to the concept and to the reality of a neural network. You see, but this is, this is their own animal kingdom. This is the monster. This, these are the animal-human hybrids and chimeras that these technocrats are trying to make. Crazy stuff, as always, and I'll be sure to put some of these links in the description bar below so you guys can check this stuff out because this is definitely something we try to cover and keep our finger on the pulse for because it's very important. They're creating new life and not really letting anybody know. What happens whenever you're walking down the street, you think some guy's in a costume, but no, that person's really, that, that, that thing, that animal-human hybrid is alive. That, that's, that's a reality. They're creating mutants. They're creating hybrids. They're creating metahumans. They're creating all different types of things. And I know this is very simple. It seems like it's very simple. But if they're telling us this now, what have they been doing before? You see, what is transhumanism? We commonly think of it, oh, well, you know, we're conceited. We think they're just going to modify us. They're going to modify everything. They're going to modify everything, mess with DNA as much as they can. This is eugenics on a, on a massive level. This is, this is their directed evolution. But like I said, this is all I really have for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I'll have it in the description bar below. And as always, guys, stay vigilant. Expose lies and share truth. This is Noise Era, Freedom Faction, out.